guys here is your uh, recap video for our zoom session number seven that we did uh this week on tuesday night so what we started with was leg taps using uh, both legs or using one leg using both arms Whew. and then we pass the hoop under our leg one way we pass the hoop under our legs the other way and then we added a hand hoop to that so we hand hooped and then we passed under the leg from a hand hoop stopped the uh, direction of the hoop and passed it under the leg yep with a hand hoop and then we passed it under the leg but crossing over so i've got it in my right hand and i'm going to pass it under my left leg using my left hand to receive the hoop but bringing the hand under the other arm so the hoop's going round to the side of that leg and then i'm passing it under and crisscrossing my hand uh, to collect the hoop so from the other side the thumb goes to the outside edge of the uh, thigh and then the hand receives it here grip down palm facing uh, towards you uh, back of hand away okay so here or here if you're finding that awkward it might be that you're lifting a different leg and trying to do it on the same leg which is oh, much more of a reach or it could be that you've got your hand position wrong. So I do it with my palm facing away from me on the bottom of the hoop, going to the outside edge of that leg, the opposite leg, and then receive it with my palm facing down, thumb away. Yep, there, okay. And then from that, we added on a, a neck roll. So with our thumbs facing away from us, across our bodies, we went towards our necks here and made made a connection between the hoop and our neck here so we're getting ready for that roll over our neck to release the hoop over the neck and then you can do that as a little um sequence repeating here whoa and repeating here so i'm bending forward a little bit it's my thumb that is pointing towards my neck and i make contact well before i release the hoop so from the start of that trick under the leg and then oh over the neck and then you can do it on the other side Ooh, which is the other side here under the leg way <laughs> and over the neck okay and then from there we added in a wedgie so we went under the oh whoops we went under the leg oh <laughs> over the neck and then in this hand we swung the hoop back swung it in and with the hoop it's on my right hand side of my body my left foot is stepping back into the hoop so here it's on my right hand side my thumb is facing uh, towards the leg that it's going to go under my palms facing back so if you're in this position you'll find the start of the wedgie harder so hand back foot comes in we've got the thighs in towards each other my heel is lifted and i'm stamping down with this foot at the same time as my knee lifts with the other foot so we tried it like this to start with, didn't we? Holding onto the hoop. So you give it a little pull back to start with, knees bent, heels lifted, a little bit of tension on the hoop, and then we lift the opposite knee and bring it across the body. So some people find with wedgies, they bring their knee across and across, and that works quite well. Some people find that they need to lift their knee a little bit more. So try, try both those um, techniques for your wedgie and see which feels good. So for me, I'm a knee across person, but some people are much more knee up, knee up. Yep, it depends on the shape of your legs. Um, okay, so wedgie. If you're struggling with the wedgie, think about the position that you started in. Some people were starting in an um, escalator position. So think about it. it's crossing the front of your thigh and then the other leg is going back into it. Here, so it's behind my left thigh it's in front of my right thigh my right hand acts as the little push point to create a little bit of tension and then as i ping it release it my other knee goes up yep we came out of our wedgies two ways didn't we we came out of them with a little kick across yep so step in wedgie kick so it's my left leg that's kicking the hoop off and i'm catching it with my right um, hand if you want to do all that without letting the hoop go you could just to try it all there we also 
came up and out of the hoop the other way, didn't we? So here, leg in, and I'm gonna come out of the hoop um, by tucking this right leg up and ducking out of the hoop and catching it with my left hand. So let's show you here. Get momentum going and then lift that leg and I grab it with my uh, left hand on the outside. Okay, so here. Lift, tuck, and out we go. Okay, so those were our tricks. If you've got any questions, then give me a message, send me a video of what you've done. I'd love to see it. See you next week, guys. Thanks.